Here's a SnowRunner guide for transferring your game save from Epic to Steam. Now that the off road simulator is available on both. So you have SnowRunner on Epic and want to play on Steam. Do you have to start the game again? Luckily the answer is no. You just need to do a bit of good old copy and paste copy pasta. Let's get this done. First up, hit subscribe and like. Now start the Windows File Explorer and browse to where your SnowRunner Epic game saves are stored. The location you installed SnowRunner is C Drive by default, but you may have chosen something else. Then go into Users, your username, Documents, My Games, SnowRunner, Base and Storage. You should see a file name with numbers and letters. Please note, I will put all relevant info in the video description. If you double click this folder, you will see a collection of files, including complete save.dat. If you have multiple game saves, you will see multiple folders with all those numbers and letters, but different for each save. Keep this file explorer window open and open another by right clicking, then click file explorer. This time we need to locate where SnowRunner is installed for the Steam version of the game. Steam by default is C Drive, Program Files, brackets x86, Steam, User Data, and then find the file that has seen the latest change by date. You can do this by right clicking, then sort by date. The folder will have a load of numbers, then inside that folder will be another load of numbers, and then a folder called Remote. Now open the Steam PC software, right click on SnowRunner under the Library tab, then select Properties General, then Steam Cloud, and untick the box to turn it off temporarily. Now we need to copy the files from the Epic folder with all the numbers and letters. Copy and paste these files to the Steam folder directory that ends in slash remote. Now rename the files with a .dat file extension to .cfg. If you cannot see file extensions, in File Explorer click View at the top, then tick the box that says File Name Extensions. This will make it easier to see what files you have changed or not changed. Next, in the same slash remote folder, delete a file called remotecache.vdh. If you cannot find it, type this exactly as it is written in the search bar. Once you have copy and pasted the game save or saves to the new folder and deleted the remote cache file, run the game. If all went to plan, you should see your trusty progress available under the load option in the SnowRunner main menu. If you do not, well, double check your game save folder is in the right place and complete. An incomplete file or in the wrong place will mean SnowRunner cannot see the game save. Another potential issue I have seen a few mentions of is to do with fog. So if anyone has this problem, let me know in the comments. Hopefully we can work out a fix. If the Epic to Steam save transfer worked, then you can go back to the Steam software, right click on SnowRunner and re-enable cloud saves. You should get the option to select local files upload to Steam Cloud and that will upload the Epic game save to the Steam Cloud servers. Hey presto. Changing the game save files to boost your rank and or experience is a similar procedure. You can also do it through matrunner.info, but it's only a quick text edit. Link in the description for my video guide. You may also want to download and install the public test server if new to SnowRunner on PC. I have also made a video about this. Doing so lets you play new content before its official release. At the time of making this video, that will mean some year to pass action in the near future. And that's it for this guide. Any issues, drop a comment and I or a fellow off-road trucker might be able to help. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more SnowRunner videos. Take care. Bye.